the president said he was not aware of any invitation to the royal wedding. He said Harry and Meghan were a lovely couple and wanted them to be happy. Meghan Markle has been critical of Trump and endorsed Hillary Clinton in 2016. Trump also criticized Britain's Brexit negotiations in a blow to PM Theresa May. U.S. President Donald Trump has said he is not aware of any invitation for him to attend Prince Harry's wedding to Meghan Markle. In a wide-ranging interview with Piers Morgan, Mr. Trump replied not that I know of when asked if he was given an invite. Harry's nuptials with the American actress have captured the imagination of her compatriots and will be seen to strengthen the bond between the UK and the US. But Markle has been a vocal critic of former reality star Mr. Trump, backing his rival Hillary Clinton and suggesting before the 2016 election she would leave the US if he won. Scroll down for video asked if he would like to go to the royal wedding in May at Windsor Castle St. George's Chapel, Mr. Trump simply said, I want them to be happy. I really want them to be happy. They look like a lovely couple. When Morgan pointed out she had labeled the billionaire divisive and a misogynist, he said, well, I still hope they're happy. Embattled Theresa May also suffered a fresh blow last night after Donald Trump criticized her handling of the Brexit negotiations. And the U.S. president sparked a diplomatic row by claiming the prime minister had invited him to make two trips to the U.K. this year, including a state visit in October, with all the pomp that entails. In an interview with Piers Morgan, to be broadcast on ITV tomorrow, the president said he would have taken a much tougher stance than Mrs May towards Brussels. His intervention could undermine the moves he made earlier to repair the transatlantic special relationship by singing the praises of Britain and saying how much he supported and respected Mrs May. However, his comments to Mr Morgan were more critical. When asked if he thought the Prime Minister was in a good position regarding Brexit talks, Mr Trump replied, Would it be the way I negotiate? No, I wouldn't negotiate it the way it's being negotiated. I would have had a different attitude. Pressed on how his approach would have differed from that of Mrs May, he said, I would have said that the European Union is not cracked up to what it's supposed to be. I would have taken a tougher stand in getting out. The comments will boost those calling for a hard Brexit, led by Boris Johnson. Mr Trump claimed he was not surprised by the result of the EU referendum, I said that because of trade, but mostly immigration, Brexit is going to be a big upset. And I was right. He added, I know the British people and understand them. They don't want people coming from all over the world into Britain, they don't know anything about these people. However, Mrs May can draw comfort from the President's promise of a great trade deal between Britain and America after the UK has left the EU, you have a two-year restriction because of Brexit, but when that is up we're going to be your great trading partner. Before the cameras started rolling, Mr Morgan asked Mr Trump if he was coming to the UK. He replied, yeah, I'll be there she Mrs May just invited me. Twice. After checking with an aide, Mr Trump said he expected one non-state visit, probably in July after a NATO summit in Brussels, followed by a state visit in October. A White House aide said later the date had not yet been confirmed. Mr. Trump's comments about a state visit took Downing Street and Buckingham Palace by surprise. A Whitehall source added, as far as we know, nothing has been agreed about the president meeting the Queen. Buckingham Palace declined to comment Mrs. May's invitation for a state visit, made shortly after Mr. Trump entered the White House a year ago, had.